Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today's painting tutorial is going to be on Gilman Productions, The Punisher, from the Netflix series, sculpted by Mark Van Tyne and in a beautiful 1-6 scale, as you can see. It's just a beautiful kit. We're just going to kind of take a look at him here for a second so you can uh, see everything here. I'll move him up a little bit. You can just see everything that Mark has sculpted in that. A nice little base with some uh, magazine shells laying down there from a recent battle where the Punisher punished the guilty. And you can see just, just beautifully done. Uh, he really captured the likeness. Now, one cool thing about this is, you want to see this? It's really cool. You sure? You ready? Well, let's do it. It comes with a different head option. Take these off, and it becomes, if you're a fan of the old series from Marvel, you'll remember that they had the zombies, the Marvel zombies. And of course, the Punisher was Venom. So we're going to put this on. As you can see here, we'll put these on. I just basically pinned it that way I can go back and forth if I can uh, find this here. Kind of tack it in there a little bit. Yeah, I love live stuff, huh? Oh, that ain't going to work because that's the wrong hand. So let's put it over here. That's why it was fighting me, man. Righty, righty, lefty, loosey, right? So we'll put that bad boy in here. And we'll take this one. And we'll put this one right in here. Insert Jeopardy music. I made one of them a little bit tighter. It must have been this one. There we go. And all of a sudden, you've got the Marvel Zombie Punisher. Punisher with an attitude, Venom. And that's just a beautiful, beautiful kit that Mark did. And you get, with the kit, you get the two head option. You get Mr. Castle. Get that in so you can see him. And of course you get the, the hands for Frank and the guns a blazing. And then of course you get the same thing for Venom. The Venom hands holding the gun. Just a beautiful piece. Let's talk a little bit today what I did to bring this beautiful, beautiful kit to life. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. I begin by basing the complete kit with automotive gray primer. And I started with the Punisher head and hands. I base coated the face and hands with Garage US Garage Kit Flesh and shade it with Reaper Suntan Flesh. After that, I highlighted the raised areas of the face and hands using Reaper Tanned Highlight and shaded areas of the face and hand using Garage US Transparent Mars Red. That way I had kind of different layers of the face going and building up my shadows, adding some redness in the cheeks and below the eyes, things of that nature just to give it the different hues. At this point I uh, uh, brought in some black, body baked black, and I shaded the hair, eyebrows, and beard areas. You don't want to go too heavy with that obviously. If you remember, Frank had that short on the side and then up to the top head, almost like a uh, mold from the Three Stooges thing. So I just lightly, very lightly spray the outsides of the head area. And then of course, up at the top I got heavier and just kind of blend it in for the beard. Very light, very light touch to the airbrush and I just kind of sprayed in the detail that Mark has sculpted in the face. I brought out some Garage US Tongue and I use that for the lips and Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan was used for the eyes. Then of course at that point I used my Body Baked Black and drew in the eyes. I added more highlight using Tanned Highlight, imagine that, to the face and the raised areas and more shading to the face again with the transparent Mars Red. Freestyle Cocoa Brown for the eye color I just wanted to give them a different type of brown look and a body baked black was used for 
the pupil. Frank's head is done. On to the hands and the guns the blazing. I hit the hands using the Reaper tan flesh, body baked black for the guns. And then of course I highlighted the guns with Anita metallic black and Freak Flex near black. That way I had two different blacks. That metallic black I use once you dull coat it just really stands out. And then near black obviously uh, separates the two. I brought out a blue pastel for the veining on Frank's hands. And again the tan highlight uh, was used for the fingernails. At this point I simply shaded the hands using the Reaper tanned shadow. And believe it or not, Frank's head and hands were done. Onto Venom's head and hands. I base coated the head and hands using Garage US Pun 13 Black, which is short for Punisher 13. And the eyes and teeth I used Freak Flex Banshee's Gray. So I had the base stuff going on the uh, Venom and I decided to go back to the body. So I base coated the leg shirt using Delta Cream Coat Black and Garage US Punisher 13 was used for the jacket. I pulled out some Freak Flex Turn Ghost White for the skull and just simply kind of just lightly, you don't want to fill that in, just lightly like it's a worn whitish look. And I of course shaded that with Garage US Trans Pains Gray and it's a process you go back and forth. The pants, I pulled up some Freak Flex Nair Black for the pants, for the highlights, and the belt. Then I pulled out some Freak Flex Silver Bullet for the belt buckle and all the zippers that are on the jacket. And again, your process of going back with the highlights, uh, shading with uh, transparent black, different things. And believe it or not, the body was done. Time to finish off Venom's head and hands. Are you ready? Here we go. I pulled out some Freak Flex Pink Eye Burgundy for the gum area around the teeth and dry brushed the head and hands using Freak Flex Arterial Blue. That way I had a kind of a different bluish look going for them. Pulled out some Rotten Tooth Tan to further dirty up the uh, teeth and the fingernails. For the guns, I used Metallic Black and the Nair Black just like I did on the Punishers. I decided to pull out some uh, Garage US Rich Brown to dirty up the teeth some more. And believe it or not, Venom was done. On to the base. The base was base coated with Freak Flex Body Bake Black. And I simply from there I dry brushed the ground area using Delta Cream Coat Hippo Gray. The pipe uh, that's on the base I hit with some Freak Flex Old Wreck Rust and the bricks were done with Freak Flex Ripper Red. Now it's time to do some shading. So I shaded the ground area using Garage US Transparent Raw Umber and I used uh, Garage US Pearl Gold for the shells on the ground. And of course I quieted it all down with some transparent black. Now for the top and bottom areas of the brick I used Freak Flex Gray Parlor Gray and some more highlighting to the bricks I use Freak Flex Deep Maroon Red for the highlighting. The bricks and everything else I decided was to just quiet everything down. You know how I like quiet. And at this point, the base was done. So that's what I did to bring this beautiful kit, the Punisher, or if you like, the Venom Punisher from the Marvel Zombies series. Either way, you win. You build it with this guy or you build it with that guy because they always said two heads are better than one. <laughs> Ooh. Wah, wah, wah. So that's your options for this uh, beautiful kit. If you're interested in picking one of these up I will put Paul Gill's email in right here and you can just simply send Paul an email and said that Troy from Talking Models recommended this kit wholeheartedly and grab yourself a Punisher kit. You won't be sorry. It's just a beautiful piece. So that's today's episode of Talking Models painting tutorial on the Punisher. Available now through Gilman Productions. So if you haven't subscribed to us, uh, please do. I'm a little over 400 and I'm trying to get to that magic number 500. Will you be one of those? Hmm.
Will you be one of those? Maybe you will. I would appreciate that. Just hit that button and you're part of the Talking Models family. And you'll be seeing painting tutorials, Talking Models. Our uh, last episode we did was on talking about airbrushes and compressors. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And we're going to be uh, just filtering other things through the channel. Everything. Uh, and we're just going to talk about models, reviews. And if you're a producer and you're interested in having your kit produ uh, reviewed here on Talking Models, send me an email at shadowcreations at gmail.com and we'll talk about it. And you can have your model uh, reviewed here and uh, help you get some kits sold. As a producer, I know that's very important. So that wraps up today's episode. I hope that everybody has a great day. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.